Hey there, Read Along Kids. Welcome back to another amazing adventure. Today's story is called Bubble Trouble. Please, Jane, I begged. Can I be in your club? Sorry, Grace, my big sister said. You know the rule. You have to be able to blow a bubble. But I can't, I said. Watch me, said Jane. Jane put a piece of bubble gum in her mouth. She chewed and chewed. Then she pinched up her mouth and blew a perfect pink bubble. I tried, but the only thing that came out of my mouth was air and a spitty sound. I'll never be able to do it, I said. Sorry, said Jane, but that's the rule. Bubbles, bubbles, there must be something in this book about bubbles, I thought. There was, but it didn't help much. I looked at the fishbowl. Fred was blowing bubbles, and that gave me an idea. All I needed was a bowl of water and a straw. I blew some practice bubbles. Then I said, thanks, Fred, and went to find Jane. Look, Jane, I said, I'm blowing bubbles. Now can I be in your club? Our club has rules. Grace, she said. I thought there was only one rule, that you had to be able to blow a bubble. We have other rules too, said Jane. Jane pointed to a list. It said the bubbles had to be big and pink and last a long time. Your bubbles are little. You can see right through them, and they don't last, Jane said. Who made all of these rules? I asked. I did, said Jane. How about a rule that says big sisters have to let little sisters in the club, I said. Jane put two pieces of gum in her mouth. She blew an even bigger bubble than before. Just keep trying, Grace, she said. Jane and I had to go in for lunch. By now, I had bubbles on the brain. So, just for fun, I tried blowing bubbles in my milk. Look, Jane, I said, these bubbles last. Yes, but they don't last long enough, said Jane. Besides, I know, I know, they're not pink. Suddenly, I remembered something. I ran upstairs to find a bag of party favors I saved. I pulled out a bottle of bubble mix, dipped the wand in, and blew. Beautiful little bubbles floated through the air. Now can I be in your club? I asked Jane. Look how long my bubbles last. The bubbles are too small, Jane said. You know the rules. All you care about is rules, I told her. And bubbles, Jane said. Then Jane put three pieces of gum in her mouth. This time, I didn't wait around to watch her blow another perfect bubble. I decided to take a bubble break. What's wrong, Grace? Asked Tom. He's my big brother. Jane won't let me be in her club. So what? He said. All they do is blow bubbles. I like bubbles, I said. What's so great about them, he asked. They're big and pink and they last, I explained. Not all bubbles are like that, replied Tom. I know, I said sadly. You know what's big and round and way more fun than bubbles, asked Tom. A ball. He kicked a ball high into the air. It landed smack on the clubhouse roof. Cut it out, yelled Jane. Sorry, Jane, said Tom. Hey, how about a game of dodgeball? Dodgeball is boring, said Jane. Besides, your ball is flat. Then she put four pieces of gum in her mouth and blew a huge bubble. Want to help me pump? Tom asked. 
No, thanks. I said glumly. Maybe lemonade will cheer you up, he said. I was so thirsty I drank a whole cup in one gulp. Don't drink it too fast, Grace, or you'll burp. Excuse me, I said. We started laughing. Burps are funny, I said. You know what else they are, said Tom. Burps are bubbles. Really? Yep, air bubbles. Tom took a big gulp of lemonade and he burped too. I burped again and again and again. Tom burped twice more. We couldn't stop laughing or burping. Let's have a contest to see who can burp the loudest, Tom said. Jane came out of her clubhouse. What's so funny? Burps, I said. Tom said they're bubbles. Grace liked my bubbles better than yours, said Tom. Oh, yeah, said Jane. Wait until she sees this one. Jane put five pieces of gum in her mouth. Watch this, she said. I don't think that's a good idea, said Tom. It's too much gum, I told her. But Jane didn't listen. Her bubble got big and huge and humongous and pop. The bubble burst all over Jane's face. <laughs> laughed Tom. It's not funny, Jane said. I've got gum in my hair. What am I going to do? Just chop your hair off, Tom said. I'll get the scissors. No, cried Jane. Hold it, I said. I ran and got my book. It says here that peanut butter will get gum out of your hair, I said. Cool, said Tom. Can we put jelly in her hair too? Jane gave him a look. I opened the jar and got started. This is never going to work, said Jane. Sure it will, I told her, but I wasn't so sure it would either. But guess what? The gum came out. Thanks, Grace, Jane said when I was done. Nice work, said Tom. But I'd still like to give her a haircut. We ignored him. Grace, Jane said, do you still want to be in the bubble club? Sure, I said, but I can't because of all your rules. Well, rules can change, said Jane. They can, I asked. Just wait and see, Jane told me. I like these rules much better, I said. But don't you think we need one more? You want another rule, said Jane. Only one piece of gum at a time, I said. Good idea, said Jane. I've only got one left anyways. Want half? Thanks, I said. I popped the gum in my mouth. Then without thinking, I stretched it over my tongue and blew a bubble. It wasn't the biggest or pinkest or the longest lasting, but it was mine. All mine. The end. Thanks for listening, Read Along Kids. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more great read-along fun. Until next time, bye-bye.